There are two views that can be set within the discussion tool. The default view is called the reading view. This view will display the entire text of a thread and all the posts within the thread. I'm going to click on Submission Review tab and Discussions. And I'll show you here that these are set in what's called the reading view right now by default, which means it allows me to read a thread here and I can see the post in that thread and if there's any replies, I can click on that thread and I can actually read each one of those replies. That's why it's called the reading view. I can read the entire thread and each of the posts that are in that thread. The grid view is, this, is the other view. Now this view will display all the posts within a single view, but you can only view the subjects of each post and must open each one uh, to view the message of that post. So I'm going to click on settings and change this default to the grid view. And you should note that when you turn on the grid view in one course, it turns it on in every course. So you can't change the view from one course to another. It's either the grid view or the reading view. Now I'll go ahead and save this and now I'll click on the discussion topic and show you the difference here. The difference with the grid view is I can only see the subject but what it allows me to see, it see, lets me see the entire thread on, of every single message and then if I click on the message itself then I can go ahead and read that message and then I can click next to, ne to navigate through to the next um, or post within that message. So it's really up to you which one you choose to use. However, one thing you must know is that the grid view will only work if you or the students access the discussion topics via the submission review tab. If you access the topics via the course content, it will be in the reading view even if you've turned on the grid view. So you'll see as I'm showing you here, this is in the grid view, but if I go to course content now, and if I click on this topic, you're going to notice that it is in reading view. It's not in grid view, even though I had turned grid view on because I accessed it via the course content. Again, to show you, if I go to submission review and discussions, and I click on the topic here, it will be in the grid view. So you, you will want to review the other tutorials about the grid view to learn more about this. How to turn on the grid view, how to navigate the grid view, and other items found within the grid view, and then customizing the grid view settings. Please review all of those. But I hope that this tutorial shows you visually an idea of what the difference is between a grid view and a reading view.